Man, what is going on, guys? I'm back with another episode of the TV Movie Podcast. And today I got for you another movie review. Today I got for you John Wick. John Mother Wick. Come on, stop playing with me. Man, that movie is fire, bro. I've seen that shit. I mean, I've seen that stuff about three times, bro. That movie is one of the best action movies I've ever watched. And uh, yeah, man, I just, I just, I just love it, man. Like, what else can I say, man? We start off this movie, man. We see that John Wick loses the love of his life, and before that, he was an assassin. But this woman allowed him to retire and find peace, and he he don't got no peace now. But the woman gave him a dog, a dog, and right before she died so that dog kind of just re represents the the love that they had and so john wick is still retired and he's just taking care of his dog and living in his mansion and he's no longer an assassin he retired he hung up his jersey you know what i'm saying and then all of a sudden he's driving his you know mustang driving around whipping it and he's in He's in the gas station and all of a sudden we see this Russian dude bump the worst rap music I ever heard. It sounded like a Russian version of Vanilla Ice. I don't know what the f he was playing, but anyway, he, he takes a look at John Wick's car. He's like, yo, let me, how much you want for it, bro? That, that looked pretty cool. That's a tight car. And then John Wick's like, man, it's not for sale. Don't worry about it. And this dude, He's still pressing John Wick. Apparently, I, I don't think this kid knows who John Wick is because if, if, if he did, he, he wouldn't even bother him. You know what I'm saying? Because John Wick is a stone cold killer. In this movie, they said he killed a guy with a pencil. A pencil! I once saw him kill three men in a bar with a pencil. Ah! With a fucking... Ah! You know what I'm saying? And so, anyway, man, the guy's just pressing John Wick, and uh, John Wick basically, like, drives off. He's like, man, whatever. I don't want no problems, bro, because I know I could mess you up right now, and I'm retired. And so John Wick, he's chilling at his crib, and then all of a sudden, a bunch of people pull up. I think they steal his car, and they kill this dog. That's messed up, bro. Like... I, like you killed the man's dog you couldn't have just stolen the car like that's crazy but they killed his dog and and john wick i think he's more mad about the dog than the car and i would be too honestly bro if, if my dead wife gifted me a dog and you killed it that's a, that's like killing my wife again you know what i'm saying so i'd be mad too and John Wick just hunts down this guy throughout the whole movie. And that was basically it. It's just John Wick going on this goose chase, you know, looking for this dude. The, the dude's dad begging John Wick, please, he's just a boy. He didn't mean any harm. And the funny part was that the, the dude's dad knows John Wick. And he told the, his son, like, yo, you killed John Wick's dog? You killed John Wick's dog, and he's emphasizing that J who John Wick is and how dumb that was to kill that guy's dog because he used to work with John Wick. John Wick killed a ton of people for him, and I feel like if you if if you're that dude, the dude's dad, how come you never told your son about John Wick? You know what I'm saying, or what he looks like. You could have told him stories, but you should have let him know. If y'all in the same universe, the same world, the same, doing the same things, you gotta tell your son who exactly and what this guy looks like, so you don't mess with this nigga, bro. Like John Wick is literally called a boogeyman for a reason, and he proves it in this movie. The the fighting scenes are amazing, just quick killings. He does it in a way where it's completely silent, like he could kill somebody five feet away from each other and the person that the person five feet away from the guy that just died doesn't even know that john wick just killed somebody five feet away from him 
You know what I'm saying? And then John Wick kills that next dude. Like, he's just a stealth, cold-blooded killer. And I'm going to give this movie, this might sound crazy, but I'm going to give this movie a 9 out of 10, bro. It's one of my favorite action movies. And, uh, yeah, there's nothing, nothing bad about it. Obviously, like, the plot is basic. And if you want a more, you know, a complicated plot, then don't watch this movie. But I like this plot because it gets straight to the point because the action movie should be more about the action and not the plot, really. Like, we're watching this movie because of the action, my boy. But, yeah, man, 9 out of 10 for this movie, man. I'm going to go ahead and give you John Wick 2 soon, so stay tuned for that. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bless up and peace.